You already know that you can make a ton of really cool things with ChatGPT. But did you know that you can also use it to compare vast amounts of documents while saving a ton of time doing it? LLMs like GPT are not only great for conversational purposes. When we open our minds, we see that these LLMs are more of a general purpose language tool and many more possibilities open up. In today's video, we want to dive deeper into the document comparison topic. The final result will look like this. A spreadsheet that contains fact-based answers to diverse questions about our documents. This allows us to easily and accurately compare vast amounts of documents. In many of these document comparison projects, you lay out your questions and your documents in a spreadsheet style. On the y-axis, we have some predefined questions where we ask about specific details of our documents. On the x-axis, we have the names of different documents that we possess. The cool thing is that we can add as many questions and as many documents as we'd like. We can now simply pass the question and the name of the document to the Cognition project and Cognition will fill out all of the fields for us. So let's have a closer look and see how we can build this. For this to work, we use a technique called Retrieval Augmented Generation. We build up a sort of mini search engine for our data and when we ask a question about a document, the found information is then provided to ChatGPT to give an accurate and specific answer. Document comparison can be super critical for organizations that are dealing with large amounts of intangible products like insurances. In many of these cases, comparing the documents is a week-long procedure. But with the power of LLMs, we can reduce this down to hours, if not even minutes. To make this work, we are going to use some PDF documents from GlobalGuard, our dummy company which we've also used in previous videos before. GlobalGuard has a set of different travel and health insurances. When we peek into the documents, we can see that we are dealing with two types of policies. The local explorer policies deal with insurances for people traveling in Europe, while the global explorer policy covers incidents worldwide. To use the documents, we need to do a bit of processing. Now stick with me here, I promise this will be super easy. To get the data into our platform, you can simply upload the PDF files that you have. Alternatively, you can also use a PDF converter of your choice and upload the data via a spreadsheet or a similar file format. Super handy! Now to the most interesting part, because next we are going to turn our data into a mini search engine that we can then use to find relevant passages from the data. Let's now move into our amazing tool Cognition to plan out the logic behind the integration and also integrate ChatGPT into the process. Cognition is our powerful platform to orchestrate RAG use cases like this. So perfect for the document comparison project that we want to do. Here we can build up super customizable strategies that exactly fit our needs. These strategies are like workflows for our RAG approach. Based on the data or the request that is coming in, you might need to do some further processing retrieval or maybe some more data enrichment. And Cognition gives you all the tools to quickly and very easily do exactly that. In our case, we want to build two different strategies for the different policies that we have. That means that we do some additional filtering on our data and also that we provide ChatGPT with different instructions for each strategy. Now let's talk about GPT. Of course, we can simply implement an OpenAI model of our choice and call it a day. If security is more important, we can also use a GPT model that is hosted in Europe via Microsoft Azure. Or if the data that we are handling is super sensitive, we can also fall back to an open source model like Llama 2. We can also use different models for different strategies. In our question enrichment component, we automatically detect metadata about the question that is coming in, such as the complexity or the style of a question. If we detect that the data is quite complex, we could route it to a strategy that uses GPT-4, which is more capable of handling complex texts. For easier tasks, we can fall back to the cheaper but still reliable GPT-3.5 and make sure that we save some money on the easier tasks. 
We can monitor and understand the whole process and get a deep understanding of which data is used for which answer. That way we can secure the reliability of the responses and take measures to further improve our outputs. As you can see, LLMs can be super powerful, even beyond the classical chat assistant. If you'd like to learn more about this, scan the QR code to begin your journey of LLM adoption. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss out on more amazing use cases in the future. Make sure to leave a like and let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!